I want to talk a little bit about making and exporting physics destructions from Blender into Unity. I have the initial model I want to destroy, and I run it through the built-in add-on cell fracture to split it into individual pieces. What happened? Clearly, there were some errors running the fracture algorithm. Well, that's because my model has holes in it. The model has to be watertight in order for the script to run correctly. So let's close the holes by selecting the border and pressing Ctrl F, then optionally Ctrl T to triangulate the resulting polygons. Having done that, let's run the cell fracture again. As for the settings, we don't want too many pieces as we usually have performance to consider. These settings seem to work best for me. Now that we have the broken version of our model, we should optimize it a bit for performance. Add a decimate modifier on one of the pieces, dragging the ratio slider until there is a good middle ground between fidelity and poly count. Then, while having the rest of the pieces selected, go Ctrl L, copy modifiers to propagate the decimate modifier to the remaining pieces. You can also run a quick merge vertices operation to get rid of double vertices and unnecessary geometry. Next, we add rigid body physics to the pieces by selecting them and going Object, Rigid Body, Add Active. Let's also change some physics settings so the pieces don't go flying off into space. To improve the animation a bit, let's drop a cube on top of the pieces. After that, we bake the animation to keyframes, default hotkey F3, and start typing bake into. We set the sampling to 3 or 4, so the animation is lighter and more easily editable. So we've arrived at a result that uh, we're reasonably happy with. However, not all the pieces animate exactly the way that is planned. But instead of redoing the physics simulation over and over again, I'll just hand animate the one piece. It's quicker this way. After the animation is completed, the next task is to export it as FBX into Unity. The problem is that each piece has its own animation track, so if we were to go with default settings, they would all be animated separately. Instead of the export settings, we can check bake animation, but uncheck everything else. This way we make sure that everything we have selected will export as a single scene animation. The animation name will be taken from the scene name, so in this case, main. Test the imported file in Unity and everything looks correct. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, leave them in a comment to this video.